I think it's time once again to try to bring this ThinkPad back to life. The ThinkPad. Last time we looked at this, we downloaded a couple operating systems on that. If you want to watch that video, you can click at the top right of this video, right here. But that didn't go so well. The three operating systems we looked at, one of them didn't even start. Haiku just had a little bit of issues and couldn't let me do anything. And Linux Mint was just a little too slow that I wanted. So today, we are going to try to download a very lightweight operating system that I found. And fingers crossed, hopefully should work. Do you know what else works now? My membership tab on my YouTube page. If you want to choose to support me, there are now three tiers that you can do so. I3, I5, and I7. No matter how you choose to support, all of the plans have the same perks. Today, we're going to be looking at Zorin OS, specifically the light edition, because that only needs a one core processor and half a gig of RAM. We have RAM, we have four gigs in here, I'm pretty sure, so we don't have to be worried about that. But we only have a one core processor. With the Athlon that's in here, the MV40, that's going to struggle running most operating systems, so hopefully, this one will work. Another reason why I chose this is because, from the looks of it, it seems pretty user friendly and beginner friendly for people who haven't used Linux very much, which I fall under that category. With only downloading Linux Mint and Haiku and testing them out for a little bit, I never used Linux really, and so I plan to hopefully download Zorin and I'm able to use that on this laptop and hopefully turn this laptop into something pretty cool. The last thing that I want is this cool ass ThinkPad to go to e-waste. There's just no reason it needs to, so let's figure something out. Let's plug in the USB and remember how to boot this thing. I forget it was as simple as clicking enter. It should hopefully boot. Fingers crossed. That is not what we wanted. That is Linux Mint. God damn it. I don't want Linux Mint. Why is it Linux Mint again? Yes. All right, do we want safe graphics or modern NVIDIA drivers? Probably not modern. Safe graphics? Man, let me look this up. All right, I'm just gonna install the normal one. No need to uh, overthink this. And we have it downloading. Let's hope this works. This is a different screen. I like this. Ooh, we got a wallpaper. Oh, what else is gonna pop up? The Wi-Fi is working. That's really good. All right, we're gonna try Zorin OS first. See how it goes before installing it. See if it runs smoothly enough for this to even be considered an option. It's looking pretty nice, honestly. You know, honestly, I thought it'd be a bit slow. Yeah, it's getting this task manager. Let me see how this is working. I will say this is a bit heavy with our CPU not doing anything, hitting 20% on average. So that's not showing good signs, but our RAM's doing okay, honestly. This really could be worse. I mean, it's more responsive than Linux Mint was, so that's something. I didn't realize I was opening up the camera, which almost completely shuts down the computer because I'm moving around and I'm not moving. Since so many of you were yelling at me to not use my hotspot, I'm gonna try to figure out how to USB tether my phone to this so we can get Wi-Fi. I think I got it connected. The wire's being weird, but let's try to go Firefox. Listen, if we can watch a YouTube video on this, that'd be insane. It's a little slow, just a little bit. I guess I just typed in my name on Google instead of on YouTube. Hey, look at that, that's me on LinkedIn and my old Huddle profile. It's actually very wild to see multiple of my accounts showing up and that is me. Oh, that's actually, that's actually weird. It's definitely chugging, it's chugging a lot. Let's just go to YouTube, see how that works. Definitely chugging, dude. This is, uh, it's trying. It's definitely trying. Oh, that's not good. I mean, hey, it's at least playing now. It's still dropping frames. That is insane. It's 144p. That is crazy. Let me find an extension, see if we can get this running better. Honestly, this isn't doing that bad. Yeah, it's taking a long time to load stuff, but, um, I mean, it's loading. It's doing it. All right, I bumped up the quality to 360p. It's it's doing better. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try 720p. Oh, I can already see frame drops. This is not gonna run well in 720. Yeah, that's what I thought. It would even. It's just a single frame. Hey, but 360p. That's not bad. That's watchable. It's doing all right here. Let me pull up the stats for nerds. It's definitely chugging. It is still dropping frames at 360, but. 
I mean, what can you ask for for almost a 20 year old computer? I know that there's other extensions I can download and I more than likely should download these extensions in order to get this usable, but besides the YouTube standpoint, I mean, it seems to be doing all right. As much as it is chugging, we are getting stuff loaded, and I will say that this is more responsive than any of the other operating systems I've tried. Look at that. It works. It works. I am going to download Steam. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting some games on this ThinkPad. Before we do that, I will say that using Firefox does bump up our CPU quite a bit, honestly. It pushes it up to the 70-80% range, but... I mean, the fact that it's working and it's it's doing something. Let's check out the built-in software store, because actually I'm not going to download anything yet before I download this operating system. This is not working. I assume it could just be that it's not installed. So scrap that. We're going to install Zorn. It's still loading, but that took like five minutes just to open. How long will it take to, uh, oh, is that it? Uh, nah, the main part still has to load. I click continue anyways. I'm going back just in case there was more than that. Okay, there's not. Good. Normal keyboard layout. Yeah, make sure you download the updates. I don't know why we wouldn't download updates. You gonna tell me a partition to download it to? Yo, I can install it alongside? You can choose which operating system you want each time the computer starts up. That actually, I'm gonna do that. Why not? Oh, word. Okay. I right, bet they both get half the storage. This is actually so cool. The resize operation may take a long time. Just gonna let it do its thing. I'll update you guys if anything happens. Hey, something's different. All right, we're back to this. This is actually going by a bit faster. I almost messed up, gave him the wrong time zone. That would not have been good. Like I said, this is going pretty fast. This should install now. I'll come back when it's done. This is actually so cool to actually be able to dual boot it and it recognizes both of the logos and everything. Let's go into Zorin. Now that we're finally up and ready, maybe we can check out this store. Just maybe. And we are in. All right. Let's see if we can get Steam on this. Let's download it from the software page. We might as well. I'll get back to you guys when this downloads. Steam is running absolutely horrible, maxing out this computer. It's chugging, but it's working. It's doing something. I'm downloading games right now. As you can see, I'm downloading a very real Tomb Raider. Hopefully, this laptop can run it. Fingers crossed. After spending so long trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong and how to get an FPS counter, we're just gonna have to not. So we're gonna rank it on a different level today. We're gonna rank it on very playable, playable, not that playable, and not playable at all. Those are gonna be the rankings today. We have six games. Let's get into it. After a couple resets, I'm really hoping this is working now. Come on, please launch. I uh. I don't think it's gonna boot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might actually have something. We might actually have something. You just gotta give it time. Give it time to boot. Give it time to chug. Give it time to load. Oh! 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 That is a logo. Oh my god. It's Peggle. Not doing well. Let's wait for this to load. This does not look like it's gonna go well. Oh! There it is. This thing is definitely chugging. Definitely chugging. I just don't think it's working. We have moved forward a couple frames. Maybe we might see the unicorn. We might. Yeah, um, first impressions, I uh, I don't think this is that playable, but I just wanna get to the part where, you know, we're actually playing the game before I say anything. At this point, it's gonna take like an hour. H, that's all he says is H. Was this what it was like communicating to the astronauts on the moon? We got high so far. Yeah, no, this, this is not working. I'll get back to you once we're back and actually playing the game. Oh, oh, we're in the game. Stuff's loading. It's chugging. It's doing its thing. We just gotta let it. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, this is horrible. I uh knew it from the start. Don't know why I thought differently. Yeah, this is so bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, we actually somewhat got it. I'm playing Peggle. It's running. It's it's definitely chugging. Definitely chugging. But we are running Peggle. That's all that matters. We're running. You know, this should change my mind. This just changed. This was going to be unplayable. But it's going to go up one tier into not that playable. 
it, it's Peggle. It should not be lagging like this. I also had to turn off the 3D accelerator, but I mean, hey, it's plain Peggle. What, what more? What more could you ask for? We have Tomb Raider, last the last revelation. As you can see, it's not looking that well. It is on the lowest settings, 640 by 480p. Let's get started because this, uh, this menu is not doing well. It is on the lowest settings, it's on software mode. Lowest I could do. The loading bar seems to be working decently well, but those are always slow. I, uh, I don't think this is doing that well. The audio is already over. Oh my god, it's, it's the Tomb Raider, it's Laura. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're getting there. We're, uh, we're getting there. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's us. That's us. Oh my god. This is running so bad. Yeah, this is, uh, unfortunately not playable. <laughs> wow. This is like the earliest one I got, too. Damn. Let's move on to the next game. This is, this is not gonna work. Oh my god, it's actually running? Whoa! Yo, let's, let's actually go. That's actually really cool. We got Half-Life, let's go! I did not expect to play this with how bad Tomb Raider ran. I had really low hopes for the rest of these games. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm honestly gonna put this in very playable as of right now. I'm gonna be honest. This is my first time playing Half-Life. I need to actually play this game, but I didn't have a computer when I was younger. I know, I would have loved games like this. I love retro games and just low poly games like this. When developers actually had a fight against the computer hardware to see how optimized and good they can get their game and really push the possibilities of what could be done and you just don't see that anymore. Ah, where do I go? What do I do? Yo! It's actually pretty fun. I'm gonna be honest. I, I really like this. I probably should have listened to what they said. I feel really dumb. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm, I know I'm gonna get flamed so bad. Where do I get to the test chamber? Thank you guys for telling me, but where is this test chamber? I'm trying, man. I'm trying to figure this out. I figured it out. I had to grab the suit. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This is very playable. I mean, there's nothing else about it. I mean, it's in the highest tier. I'm really enjoying this, so I think it's just fair. We move on to the next game. Now, in theory, this should do pretty well because it's the same, uh, runs on the same engine. Yeah, I'm sure we can keep the same settings, the OpenGL. Oh, I have to actually join a server. I'm just gonna get like absolutely destroyed. Oh, these aren't even, some of these aren't even uh, a Counter-Strike. All right, sure. Let's connect to this one. Being completely honest, this loading is nothing. I mean, I'm okay. This is the loading that was expected when the game came out. I'm gonna be honest. We should boot up here shortly. Select team, auto assign. Yo, yeah, low key. I mean, I see it stuttering a little bit. It's playing, I'm online. Oh, hell yeah. I just spawned in, just spawned in, oh my God. I don't remember how to go into the shop or anything. I mean, it's running well. I won't say it's very good, but. <sighs> it's kind of playable, I'll give it that. It's kind of playable. Let's move on to the next game. All right, we are in. And if I click F3, oh, we're only getting one. We're only getting a couple. Oh, this is bad. How much can we get just standing still? Oh my God, look at that graft. It is going to cover the, oh my gosh. I uh, I don't think any version of Minecraft is playable whatsoever. Oh, we're getting a bit more. Where it's, oh, hey, look at that. Look at that, we got a couple more frames. But as soon as we move, it's back down. Yeah, no, this is just horrible. That, that That is actually starting to cover up my entire screen now. Oh, well, there we go. We have lost half the screen to Minecraft. I don't think this is playable. I think this is very unplayable. Overall, I think this was really fun. I enjoyed playing a bunch of these older games on this laptop. I don't think this laptop is anywhere near usable in a uh, public setting or just daily use so unfortunately not able to do that but i mean it's still fun to work on this thinkpad and to see what it can do all these years later if there's anything you want me to try in this thinkpad let me know in the comments down below but that's all i have for this episode if you guys like this video hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next week see ya thanks to all my channel members if you want to support this channel become a member today